So fire is going to be one of the most popular and game breaking attributes in today's format. These decks include Fire King, Snake Eye, Rescue Ace, and many more that are absolutely broken in this format. Now what if I told you I had a one card combo that absolutely obliterated, Exodia level obliterates all the fire matchups, and that is just a one card combo. And I mean it when I say if you're able to set this up, you're pretty much beating any fire deck that you play, and it's a fairly small engine so with that being said i want to show you guys how powerful this one card combo is and how you can beat fire decks all throughout today's meta with a single one card combo Okay, so here it is, the one card combo that absolutely obliterates every single fire matchup you guys are going to see in today's metagame. Now, this one card combo can be either done with a motorbike or a super heavy samurai wakaoshi. Either one is a single one card combo, which is absolutely insane because you guys are going to see in the engine, you're playing three of this, three wakaoshi, six one card combos, absolutely destroys fire. So let me show you guys how to do this. So first thing you're going to want to do is activate your motorbike. Once you activate motorbike, you're going to be able to search your wakaoshi, of course. And now if you open wakaoshi, it's essentially the same thing you don't have to do the motorbike play either way it works out really well which is really powerful right then what you're going to do is you're going to activate the wakaoshi over here and you're going to be able to use its effect in the scale to place your big ben k in the other scale and summon the wakaoshi now at this point of course you guys are going to have a full hand let's say you're going first and because you're going to have a full hand you could potentially use the wakaoshi monster effect however you don't want to do that because it's going to lock you into super heavy samurais and you guys don't want to lock yourself into super heavy samurai so don't do that just wanted to give you guys that heads up but what you are going to do is activate the the big bang k over here and you're going to be able to search out your soul horns all right now soul horns specifically you want to play because it can equip itself from hand to your side of the field to a super heavy samurai card and then you can also activate its equip effect to then summon it to your side of the field now you have a level one and a level four tuner what does that make? A level five synchro. And the level five synchro we're gonna be going for is Deng Long, all right? So we're gonna be going Deng Long over here and you're gonna wanna chain things properly. So you're gonna go Deng Long is chain link one always because you wanna play around cards like Ash. So you're gonna go Deng Long chain link one and then chain link two, you're gonna go Wakaoshi to scale itself into your pen zone over here, right? Now you're gonna get to search a Yang Zing card. The one you're gonna wanna search is always gonna be the Suwani, all right? So Suwani over here is the card that you're gonna search. Now you have two options. You can either use your normal summon on Suwani, or you can pendulum summon the Suwani because you do have your pen scales up and you can activate it to pendulum summon. So now it kind of depends on the deck that you're playing this engine in. If the deck that you're playing does require its normal summon, I would recommend you use your pendulum summon here. If it doesn't require a normal summon and you can do your combos with the pendulum summon then you guys can hold the pendulum summon as well it doesn't really make a difference how you're going to do it for this case we're just going to normal summon our suwani and i want you guys to keep something in mind that's four summons wakaoshi horns denglong and suwani we're going to be playing into nibiru or are we let me show you guys why we're actually not going to be playing into Nibiru at all. Because the card we're going to make is with our level 5 Denglong and our level 4 Suwani into a Chao Feng. Now, Chao Feng has an absolutely absurd effect. And this is the card that absolutely destroys every single fire deck in today's format. So, just before we get into the combo though, I do want to say that you guys have access to a Denglong effect in the graveyard. And that's essentially going to summon a Yang Zing monster from your deck. And now, this is something that you don't need to play. I'm just kind of showing you guys multiple options here. This you actually Actually don't need to pay as part of the engine however you guys can play this if depending on the deck that you are playing you can use it as link fodder or synchro fodder etc etc if you need a level two you can summon the jiao two you can summon the zephyr nui it doesn't really matter what you guys summon here what's important is that denglong can get you an extra body if you guys choose to play it if not you actually don't even need to play this at all it doesn't actually help you with this combo it helps you potentially with future combos depending on what deck you're playing right but the card that we want to get into is chao feng and how broken this card is so what we're going to want to do is i am going to hide my face cam so you guys can see what this card does so while this synchro summon card is on the field your opponent cannot activate effects of monsters with the same original attribute as the yang zing monsters used for the synchro summon of this card why is that insane forget the other effects that this card has why is that insane it's insane because if you look at the graveyard we use a light deng long and a fire yang zing what are we locking our opponents out of every single fire monster in the game fire king goodbye Rescue Ace, goodbye. Snake Eye, 
goodbye. We're not looking at fire monsters at all. And remember how I talked about Nibiru earlier? Well, we use Denglong, that is a light, and Nibiru is a light monster. So now your opponent cannot activate cards like Nibiru, Ghost Ogre, Effect Veiler, which are all light hand traps. Fire is also the attribute for Ash Blossom, so your opponent is not going to be able to Ash you after this point. They're not going to be able to use any of their fire monsters. They're not even going to be able to use any of their light monsters, so cards like Nibiru, or in general, if you're playing against a light based deck, they cannot use those effects as well. So you're locking your opponent out of light monsters and fire monsters, which are two of the most prevalent attributes, specifically in today's metagame, which is absolutely insane. And at this point, Keep in mind, we have used our normal summon on the Sawani, but you still have a pendulum summon, or if you pendulum summon the Sawani, you guys can then use a normal summon, right? That's a one card combo. And you can play this in any deck. Let me show you guys the engine. So just to show you guys the engine here real quick, we are playing three motorbike, three Wakaoshi. I personally like to max out on these because you do want to see at least one of them. Either or is a one card combo. So playing six is very important. We're playing two of the Big Bang K. Of course, you need to be playing two because if you draw the one, you do need one in deck for your Wakaoshi. So we're playing two Big Bang K. One of the Soul Horns. This card doesn't matter if you draw it or not. If you draw it, you can still activate its effect to do the things that you need it to do. We're playing the one Sawani. Of course, this is the most mandatory Yang Zing that you need to be playing for your fire lock and then these cards over here you don't need to be playing them i kind of just put these as options if you guys need level two tuners or a level extender etc etc you guys can play these monsters just kind of as cards that you can summon off denglong potentially zephyr nui if you do link it off and then you pendulum summon it back you can get nine pillars this is just kind of stuff i wanted to show you but in theory you don't need these three cards you only need these 10 up here and this 10 card engine as well as just two cards in the extra deck is going to lock every single fire opponent you play out of the game, which honestly is absolutely crazy. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. That is my one card combo that absolutely destroys the fire matchups in today's metagame. Those decks are gonna be the most popular and the strongest decks in the format. And now you have a one card combo that's absolutely going to obliterate them. On top of that, this engine that I showed you guys can be placed into pretty much any single deck. It's only a 10 to 11 card engine and it gives you the ability to pendulum summon as well, which is absolutely insane. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload every single day here on the channel you guys get five shorts a week as well as two videos a week that includes combo videos like this one deck profiles vlogs all that good stuff you'll find it right here on the channel so make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned for more thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you with that thank you signing out Peace.